Uziel, uh, do you has a question? To, do you have the same issue with the camera doesn't working? So sorry, this is another translated into English, but uh, but with the camera doesn't working, all black screen on Teams, even if it turns on and works with other apps like Zoom. I did try to reinstall Help only one time and keeps not working after one call. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> plain and simple. Um, my experience. Personal experience, yes. Uh, it it turns out that it was basically a reboot, and then teams would see it again uh, for whatever reason. It, when I, and it, it is a situation where I think too many apps were using my camera because I would switch between Zoom that's and it. Teams. That's it. And then that's the thing. It's it's yeah. hanging on to the video somewhere. There's a yeah. tab where there's a camera open. That's the yeah. most common scenario. Yeah. Yeah, it's holding on to it, um, and it was. Uh, um, it actually probably was because I was had to go do a go to meeting. I haven't been at a go to meeting like forever, um, and that was a browser based, right? Because I don't have the go to client loaded, so the browser tab comes up and asks you for permissions to use your camera and your microphone. Uh, when you do that, that's for the, your whole browser session. So it's not just that tab; it's the whole session. So you have to close your browser and then it releases your camera, um, right? Supposedly. So anyways, yes, that happens. Reboot fixed it for me, um, but it's it's pretty common, pretty common problem, I think. I have the same issue even switching between Microsoft tenants. That's why I was late for signing in today. I had to restart my computer because I was in a different tenant logged out and my camera wasn't working. Yeah. So it's not just from one platform to another. It's just teams like mine, mine. I'm, it takes my camera and holds it hostage. Yeah. <laughs> and there's no way to go. I don't know if there's a process you can kill in the background that would know which is which, but yeah, control, delete, restart, see you bye. <laughs> it seems to fix it. So. It's it's sad but true that there are so many problems that are uh, the, the first thing, the resolution is, did you try turning it off and on? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's the other reason I have a little slider on my camera that I can close because I don't ever know when it's active or not. <laughs> yeah. Would any of these uh, web conferencing applications have a startup service that would lock a camera? Uh, I know WebEx does because WebEx actually installs a service, the Cisco WebEx service. I don't know if it, I don't think it locks the camera. I think it just makes it, they say that it makes a quick startup. So it doesn't have to, it doesn't take so long for it to actually initialize. Um, I don't know. I, I mean, I can tell when someone uses my, when an app uses my microphone, because I got this little thing in Windows 11 now where you have a little icon in your taskbar that pops up and it says an app is using your microphone. Um, I don't have, what I want to have is a little icon that pops up and says an app is using your camera. Um, that would be kind of cool because Sherry, then I wouldn't have to have that slider, you know, or that cover. I would know when an app is actually using my camera. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that would actually be good just to have like a system tray, like a little icon yeah. that just shows that, hey, camera's on, camera's yeah. off. I mean, I've got the light that's in the camera, yeah. so I see that too. But but then, then you'd see it, you know, that, hey, there's a service that's utilizing the camera somewhere. Yeah. yeah. Right. And this is not really That's good feedback, Mike. <laughs> oh, that is good. Uh, th this is not Microsoft Teams specific, but... On one of the later uh, updates of Android, now it it has a uh, little green dot that lets you know when an app is listening or watching. Oh yeah, iPhone and has it that too. And it is like it can be a little scary when you're in what you think is just like a yeah, you know, like a, a simple interactive app, and all of a sudden this green light comes on. You're like, well, why are you listening to me as I'm? Well, that's something. how it knows to be responsive to your every whim, and if you want to ask questions and things too. That's why it's, yeah. it spies on me all the time and it activates and it starts transcribing what I'm saying or what's on my screen and it creeps me out. Mm -hmm. It's like, no, <laughs> I will act. 
just like I will turn on the on button when I want to actually talk to you. I don't hey. I don't have that. Hey, Google or hey, Bixby or I don't do any of that. Let, let me know. just say I'm really uncomfortable uh, with this line of discussion that because our AI overlords are clearly listening in. So <laughs> I don't want to get them angry. Let's just move on. Let's just move on. <laughs> don't question it. Just do it. Just move on. <laughs> <laughs> More tinfoil for my hat, please. Hey, hey, Alexa, Rick, roll me. <laughs> Christian's got Alexa in his office. Alexa, so there it goes. Ah, the... <laughs> oh, that worked. That's awesome. Did it really work? That's hilarious. Yes, it, yeah. it really works. <laughs> Test to see if he's got his payment account tied to it, so he can say, "Order more kitty." All right, we're moving on. All right. We're <laughs> <on>. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.